Oh, I forgot to stop and charge before I got here. I wonder what I can do. I don't want to go to a fast charger in the morning. Got my EV Dance portable charger here. Do, 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 do. Now, check this out. Okay, so this works in a couple different places. I can use a 620 outlet or there's an adapter in here which means that I can trickle charge with it too. So this will work with 120 volts and 240 volts. Perfect. So now here at the, my friend's house, I can definitely get the car charged up at least a little bit overnight or the next couple days. So I don't have to stop at a charger on the way home. Hi everybody, welcome to Livewire Review. My name's Jeremy and today I'll be doing a product review. I had a company reach out to me called EV Dance. Now this is a global company that sells EV charging equipment across the world. And today they've sent me their level one or two portable EV charger. This one has a few notable features to it. It can charge up to 3.8 kilowatts, has a 25 foot cord, it's UL and CSA listed, so you know it's safe for use in your home or in a commercial setting or anywhere else you might find a use for this product. A couple other features I noticed on here is it's IP66 rated, so that means it is weatherproof and it's built with fireproof materials, so you know there's a lot less chance of a fire with this. So, without further ado, let's get this thing opened up and see what's inside. Now this does come with a fairly long cable on it. The total length of the whole thing is 25 feet, which is actually pretty standard. Sometimes maybe about four feet longer than some of the other ones you get on the market. Um, now, if you find yourself in a situation where this isn't long enough, check out my other review video. They actually do sell extension cables for this, so that way you'll be able to get further down the driveway if you ever needed to. And what's nice is they also come with these little Velcro ties, so it makes it a lot easier to bundle up and put inside that uh, carry case when you're done. Now this is where you're going to find yourself using this charger most often, especially when you're out on the road. Now you've seen me go out to uh, PEI for a road trip, so check out the couple of videos on the channel. You can see what it's like to road trip an electric car. But something like this comes in really handy for stuff like that, especially when you go to, let's say, a friend's house like we might have here, or uh, Airbnb or a cottage, or even over to a family member's house for Thanksgiving. That's where this adapter comes in. It changes it from 240 volts to your regular 110, 120 volts volt outlet. Now it's a fairly small unit so it's not very heavy. We just plug it there into the 110, 120 volt outlet and you can see it's not very large. The whole unit is about the size of my hand and that means it's going to be very light on that socket. There's nothing really to worry about here. Now one thing I really like about this one is it has adjustable amperage. So let's say you've come to an older cottage and they only have like a 60 amp panel and you're not quite sure about the wiring that comes with that cottage. So if you hold down the A button here, it's a touch sensitive button, it allows you to change the amperage from 6 amps, 8 amps, 10 amps, 12 amps, and 16 amps. So we're on a 120 volt circuit. It is gonna set it to 12 amps automatically, but you can always set it beforehand. So we now have it set for 12 amps, set for charging at 120 volts. Now, you're gonna find a lot of advantages to something like this. It does take up to three days to charge an electric vehicle on a granny charger, but when you show up to a cottage or your friend's house or something like that, you have up to three days to charge your car. So you can show up with 10 or 20%. You don't have to go to a fast charger. It's gonna give you the juice you need to get around. And with three days to charge, you know it's gonna be full by the time you leave. Now, another thing that you're gonna have to think about here though, is if it's really, really cold out, let's say it's minus 20 out, uh, this is not gonna be enough to charge your vehicle. It's only gonna keep the battery warm, but that is still an advantage because it means the battery's gonna be warm enough when you go to leave wherever you've gotten to in order to get to that fast charger and get charging. So this thing has a few different advantages to it. I like the fact that as a 25 foot cable, I really like how small and thin the cable is. It's actually really flexible. It's gonna be excellent in that cold weather and it's really small, fits in that carry case really nicely. You can see it's about less than the width of my finger here. So really easy to work with. Well, let's get this 25 foot cable stretched out and we'll get the car charging. Now, if you find the 25 feet is not long enough, check out another video on my channel. EV Dance does sell extension cables as well. So you have more options for getting further down the driveway. Well, let's get this thing plugged in and start charging. 
Okay, we have our adapter plugged in, comes with a nice little rubber cover to keep it safe while it's in storage, and we got 25 feet, which is just long enough for what I'm about to do right now. Now, if you have a Tesla, of course, you're gonna need the J1772 to Tesla adapter. This is available on the website if you happen to have misplaced yours, and it's just as simple as plug it in, let it start its communication, and it starts to charge. Now, this is an excellent uh, quality material here. You'll notice that that plugged in right away. It wasn't too tight. It means that the tolerances for how they've built the handle on this are really good. So I highly recommend this because of the, how well it's built. I like the flexible cable. I like the fact that it fits right away. And as you can see, it's already charging. So I'm gonna leave this here for the weekend and that way we'll have nearly a full charge when we go to take off on Monday. So now we're going to talk about the real reason why you would buy this charger, specifically if you're going to be using it every day to charge your car. It makes a good dual purpose setup because it is portable, you can bring it with you, and you know it's certified for use in your house. So one of the main reasons I like this one is because you don't have to have such an expensive setup. If you check out the prices of this unit on their website, it's just, it's great value. I think this one was under $300 Canadian um, in order to purchase this uh, portable charger. And you can get anywhere from 3.3 to 3.7 kilowatts watts consistently out of it which is just enough to get most electric cars charged up overnight you might need about 12 to 13 hours versus let's say seven to eight or even five to six like um, a, a proper level two charger seven to ten kilowatt unit but 3.7 kilowatts is definitely enough to get your car charged and get you where you need to go. Where this is gonna come in really handy is plug-in hybrid owners. So for example, in my family, there's two different plug-in hybrids. My brother drives a C-Max Energy and my mom drives a Fusion Energy. And both those cars charge at 3.3 kilowatts, so it's the perfect size for those vehicles. And what's great about a setup like this, with especially with a plug-in hybrid, is um, it gets it charged up in usually about two to three hours. So it means if you're that satellite type driver where you go out shopping and you come home and you have to go out again, it gives you just enough time to get the car charged up so you can get that 30 or 40 kilometers again in the same day. So you're gonna be using even less gas if you get a setup just like this. Now, I'm really happy with this kind of setup because a 620 outlet, you can pick up at Home Depot, you can get your electrician to wire it up on just a simple 12 gauge wire. It'll probably work in even old cottages. You can use a 60 amp uh, old cottage, 100 amp townhouse, for example, and of course your 200 amp setups. So you're always gonna have room in your panel to install a plug of this size, whereas some panels out there, you're not gonna be able to put in your 1450 outlet and get that proper full size level too. So this definitely gives you options when you're in places like condos, apartments, small cottages. Um, I've even set these up in, let's say my friend's houses. My friend has a cottage up north. We've put a plug in at his cottage. Uh, I have this same plug in at my brother's house which he's out in Waterloo it's like a good three hour drive for me so this comes in really handy when I go to visit I can get um, let's say 40 50 percent of a charge just while I'm over there for a short visit so take our 620 outlet here we plug in our charger it powers up and what's super handy is this one has that adjustable amperage which we've already talked about so for a 620 outlet that's a 20 amp outlet uh, it'll be set for 16 amps but if you're not sure about the wiring or the load of the panel or let's say you're using a whole bunch of electricity in the uh, let's say a cottage for example uh, let's say it has a 60 amp breaker and you're you doing the laundry and you're still charging your car you can take this button here you hold it down and you can set your amperage level down again just like we did with that 110 volts before so i know this outlet is safe and there's nothing running so i'm going to be setting it to the 16 amps right there and this screen is super handy it shows me the voltage coming out of the outlet right now it's at 240 volts when i plug in the car it's probably going to drop down to about 233 which is normal because you're putting a load on the panel but it's it's showing you that it's really handy it even shows you the output in kilowatts it shows you how much energy you've used on your charge and it shows you how long the vehicle's been charging for. This is really handy stuff and something that is very, very inexpensive. Another thing that I like about this one is look right here that we have a little tiny screw on here, which makes this very easy to hook up. So it has room for two different screws. So you can set this up so it just plugs down on two different screws and that way you can just have it held on the wall and you're sure about the wiring. So right here, this comes in super handy. You can just plug it in, hang it up on the hook, and you know you're good to go. So let's get this car started charging. 
So a lot of these chargers on the market are gonna have about a 21 foot cable on it. This one is a full 25 feet. So it actually reaches right over here to the very back corner of the car. I would highly recommend just backing in this kind of car. So it's much closer to the charger over there, but at least it gives you options. You know, it's gonna get all the way around the car, depending on what your garage setup is and where you can put that plug in. So it just reaches here. We gotta put our adapter on here and we're gonna start doing a 240 volt charge right now. So we got the blinking light fits perfectly, it's already charging. So let's take a look and see what that screen looks like while the vehicle is charging. Okay, so right off the bat, taking a look at this charger while it's charging my car. This is rated for up to 3.78 kilowatts worth of charge. And if you take a look at the screen here, it's sitting at 3.77 to 3.79. So it's definitely as advertised. And like I said, the voltage drops just a little bit when you're pulling a, uh, a charge out of the, um, the wiring from the house. So instead of sitting at 240 volts, it's resting at 237. If you're running a lot of stuff in the house, you probably see it drop to about 233. Perfectly normal to see a little bit of voltage drop. It just means that the circuit is working. So we're at a full 16 amps here. It's put in charging for about five minutes and I've already put 0.32 kilowatts into the battery. So that's really neat that it has this tiny little screen on here. I wouldn't expect to see this kind of feature on a charger at this price point. And now that we're up close and personal with it, you can see how well it's built. It's nice and small. It's actually about the size of my hand for the whole unit. And there, I just press the A button there just to set the amperage level. So I can set eight, 10, 12, 16, and I believe all the way down to six amps, just in case you have a worry about the wiring. Now I know I've already talked about this, but we're up close and personal, so I can at least show you this in action. So there, I've dropped it down to 12 amps. You can see it's dropped down to 2.84 kilowatts worth of charge power, and you just hold down the A button, which this is a touch sensitive button. It's not a physical button. And then we just set it back up to 16 amps. You let it rest there for a second, and then we set back up to 16 amps. So here it goes, it ramps back up. So this is a perfect setup. I love this. It's very cheap wiring to put something like this in your house. 12 gauge wiring is not very expensive. The outlet itself is only 20 to 30 bucks, something like that. And this thing just sits here on a screw. You couldn't have an easier uh, installation. So great for your friend's house, things like that. We've already covered some of that. So maybe let's wrap up our thoughts on the EV Dance charger. There is one more thing I wanna talk about before we close, because there's always a con. There's a lot of pros to this. I really like the flexible cable and everything, but I'm gonna talk about one con before we finish up. Okay, so before we wrap this up, I just wanna talk about that one con that comes up with this charger. And that, that does come with a comparison with some of the other ones on the market. So for example, I of course have a Tesla and as you can see, the Tesla mobile charger is almost the same size as the EV Dance package right there. Now, Tesla's unique. They're definitely the OG of uh, the chargers in the industry. The Tesla vehicle can literally take a charge from anything. But what I like to see is the fact that the EV Dance charger is so similar. Look at the size of the Tesla mobile connector here and look at the wiring that it comes with. It's super flexible, it's super easy to roll up and it fits in this tiny little carry case. Now, this is the one con to the EV Dance charging setup. Take a look at these adapters. You're actually gonna see this from a couple other companies on the market, but the price point is not gonna be the same. This mobile connector from Tesla, just because of economies of scale, keeps getting a little bit cheaper. I think it's like $315 Canadian or something if you order it with a new car. You gotta check the, uh, the normal pricing as it is right now. Now the EV Dance charger is still less expensive than this, and this doesn't have quite the same features. There is no screen on it, uh, but it does have one advantage over that charger right there, uh, maybe two actually. So this one will actually charge up to 7.2 kilowatts. It's a 240 volt, um, 32 amp setup. Now that is set up by the different ends that you can put into it. Here's your granny charger end onto it. So there's a little chip that's inside here. And when you plug it into the Tesla mobile connector, it actually sets the amperage level in the charger. So that means that there is no guesswork. Anybody can use this setup. And there are other ones on the market that have this. I'll show a couple of B-roll shots of the ones that I found in uh, products like Nissan, Ford, and a couple other ones, even the GM one that I recently reviewed, they had the adaptable heads on it. Now I don't know what they cost and I know they're significantly more than these two right here, but this is something I want to see EV Dance offering in the future would be these adjustable heads. Now it's not gonna come in at the same price point as this mobile connector right here. So I still highly recommend this one, especially for what they're charging for it and the features that it comes with and that flexible cable and everything. 
But I am really jealous of the fact that you can to put any head on the Tesla mobile connector and you're all set up for your road trip. Now, each one of these heads costs a few dollars. I think it's like 60 or $70 easily for each one of these heads, but it is a very adaptable system. So maybe EV Dance will come out with something like this in the future. But for now, that was my only con about the product is just the fact that it doesn't have those different connector heads. It only has the two, the 620 and the 515. So I'm honestly just gonna wrap it up right now. As you can see, it's a very, very small package. This popped in here with absolutely no effort. I just hand rolled this thing and I threw it inside here and it fit absolutely perfect. Now I've been using this for a couple of weeks now because I wanted to make sure that my review was very accurate and was not biased at all. So as you can see, super flexible. I love the size of it. I love that it's literally the size of my hand. It is so light and so easy to use. It's not gonna put a lot of strain if you happen to be only hanging it from the cable. Just make sure that it doesn't have a lot going on. And I like the fact that there are two little screw holes here that allow you to hold it up on the wall. And especially with products like Nissan, Nissan is one that really throws me off. They have no adjustability of the amperage or the charge levels inside the car. So that's one of those cars out there where you have to have kind of a smart charger. Now this one is not a smart charger, which is great because it means you don't need a Wi-Fi connection. You don't need apps on your phone in order to use this. It's just this little A button on the front to set the amperage level of the charger. And of course, it's a 110 volt, 120 volt, and a 240 volt charger at the same time. Very economical, very easy to use, and I really like this product. 25 feet long, waterproof, made with fire resistant materials. I don't think you can go wrong with this product. And the fact that it comes with this little carry case here, super handy, and it just has that little adapter inside the bag. So just before we end here, I'd like to point out the fact that EV Dance has actually given me a 20% off discount code that you can use yourself on their website. So go to evdances.com and type in the code EVD Livewire, and you'll get 20% off all products on their website. They recently had a sale that was 15% off. Well, this code bests that. It is actually 20% off all products on the EV Dances website. So check it out, EVD Livewire. And if you found this video helpful, maybe think about liking or subscribing to the channel and see what we're doing next. Thanks for watching.